All right, and welcome to the life of SOK 350 lover. Gonna be continuing on with Cyberpunk 2077 for PlayStation 5. I am here in the uh, Luxor. What do you call this place? Luxor Hot Wellness. Luxor High Wellness Spa that the Voodoo Boys are hold up in. And I have to do this contract where I have to find and kill this guy, Milko Alexis. So let me catch you up on my character real quick. We'll do this really fast. Level 44, 50 street credit, 324 to 798, 68,458. Here's my cyberware here. 231 out of 234 cyberware capacity edge running renaissance turned on. Cyber capacity is seated by 47, so I'm minus 122 health, free chance of 4.7%. 789 out of 1327, armor, and this keeps fluctuating. Here's what I have um, <clears throat> equipped right now. You can read it yourself. My cyber deck. Had this since before the 2.0 update. And Phantom Liberty. Oh, got overheat. Remember, a good way to make some money is to sell these uh, these tier five combat hacks or any quick hacks, uh, and then the um, also the ultimate ones get a lot of money for these. So if you, they ever give you extra ones and you don't need them, you can just sell them. Um, my Kiroshis. Oh, and the mono wire I have cyber malfunction. I've really been using that. Kiroshis. Okay, and uh, this is my character V. It's the outfit I'm wearing currently. Okay, I've been playing for a total of 186 hours and zero minutes. As female V Corpo, here's my stats here. And a 50 street cred max out, so I get 15% update if you add all this up. Level 44, they said it goes to 60, and Phantom Liberty will see. I'm um, getting close. Got this cheetah tier 5 plus gun from the boss of the uh, animals. Near the target, a gradient crit and bleeding chance. Hits to an enemy torso, also deal more damage. Got the alibi, grants a chance to inflict a unique burn on an enemy. Shooting an enemy affected by this burn always deal crit damage. More enemies, not damage affected by this burn. More accuracy crit damage deal but at the cost of accuracy. Um, so, in short, like, it, it'll cause them to catch on fire and, um, and crit damage. Um, and I got this axe, um, from the last, you know how you look on the map, you see these three-headed icons. I had went there and I had to fought, fight this boss. It was a boss fight, some voodoo lady, uh, part of Voodoo Boys, and, uh, I got this axe and a couple of things. Um, so we have three health items. They're all tier five plus now instead of tier five. Um, three instead of two because of the perk. And I picked up the item in Dogtown, made them tier 5 plus. Same thing with the grenades. And, uh, my grenades are three instead of two. And for the non, uh, damage you call between grenades, those are th uh, six instead of two. Um, backpack, this is what I have. We'll go pretty fast on this. The latest weapon that I got, I got another warden. Uh, even though I already have one already. And I got this, uh, D5 Sidewinder. A couple of cool stuff that I have. Uh, melee weapons. Like I said, I recently got this axe. Now I have two punk knives. I guess I could get rid of this one. Even though this one has better st stats. I'll just get rid of that. And um, I kept my er errata. The weapons that you see are what I have. I got rid of a lot of things uh, that were duplicates. And I kind of put other stuff in my stash. Uh, I recently got something. This uh, tier 5 baseball bat. It's Kanabo. Um, hammer. Stuff like that from... Uh, I got two tier 5 plus hammers. Let me get rid of that one. I don't need to, um, from doing those, uh, like I said, the missions with the, um, what do you call it? The three heads on there. I'm getting a lot of stuff in crates. I am getting a lot of crates, crate drops. So I'll go and run after those and get those in dog town. Um, let me give her something to eat. And do my health and stamina and, uh, <clears throat> 
and carrying capacity and ram boost and uh my attachment mods grenades junk yep so these are all the items that i have and i have a whole bunch of stuff in my uh stash and yeah so crafting i don't have any new crafting recipes oh i guess i do the kiddies low level one though uh everything is pretty much the same a lot of things you can't craft anymore uh like that o2 thing that gives you unlimited oxygen and you can't craft health items and grenades and stuff and really for the most part when it comes to the guns i can only craft stuff like this look at this mito i think i already have one of those already that's a new crafting recipe and you can upgrade your um the elite stuff that you have but only if it's in your inventory as you can see because i got stuff in my stash and i can't upgrade it um character attribute perk 13 body 6 reflex 20 technical ability intelligence 20 and cool 6 two relic points available i'm just saving them trying to get to 15 bodies so i've just been using uh the attributes for that show you what i have self-explanatory read it yourself get back to the action technical ability 20 need to find this guy and kill him uh, it's taking a long time to find him it's actually been pretty quick to break into here and take out the enemies. But these killing contracts, you know, there's so many things that drop that you can pick up. And I like getting bullets because I'm always low on bullets, it seems like now. Because some of these guns, they shoot so many bullets all at once. And so, you know, it's nice to have bullets. So I had the jailbreak for the projectile launch system and mono wire and all the cyberware. And so this allows me to shoot five projectile launch systems and I get another one, make it a total of six. I don't have a equipped, I probably should. Mono wire, um, I can hit people, upload the quick hacks. I thought that'd be good, but it only uploads cyberware malfunction and other control uh quick hacks like um what do you call it? Um what's that thing called? Ah the thing that grabs your foot um and holds them there. I don't know. And then this one, will, uh, you hit one person, it'll spread like Contagion uh, does, um, but it's only for control quick hacks. I don't think it's very good. They should change it to combat quick hacks and other ones. Mercy Cloak, you can turn on your optical camo, disappear for combat, and sensory protocol, crouch and disappear from combat. Map, I'm here in Dogtown. Uh, I said at the Luxure High Wellness Spa, we're doing a um, contract for Mr. Hands. 110 this is part of the phantom liberty and here is the missions that i did main story missions and cpd side uh NDP, cpd mission reported crimes all the daily main missions all the cyber psycho missions non lethally and a lot of things like gigs side missions and stuff i was doing keeping myself busy before the 2.0 and phantom liberty came out and then i continue on phantom liberty automatic love with judy and uh seeing the voodoo boys and coming here and doing the Dogtown missions. And this why I have by a Rayfield Caliburn if I want to get skinny pigs and eliminate this lady. I already did it, but it's a bug, so it popped up again. I did 2.0 update. Feet on the brat, beast in me. <clears throat> uh, car races with Claire. Both sides now with Judy. Uh, I can go to her apartment. She said after rescuing Evelyn, she called again. Need something. She always needs something. Bart Moss Collectives. I get text messages from the Bart Moss Collectives, and now it gets a uh, comes over the mission. Tomorrow never knows finds all the graffiti in Dogtown. I'm pretty sure the last one will probably be in Kurt Hansen's headquarters. Um, I'm just guessing. War pigs. Uh, this is a Arasaka mission, and uh, sending the clowns. Uh, some clown down the street talking more. This is an early mission game. And uh, early game mission, <clears throat> and I don't like talking more. I like the way he talks to V, and uh, so I haven't been really doing any missions with him. So we are at Get It Together. So let me just do this real quick. Let me explain something where we're at <clears throat> with the story. So we know Kurt Hansen. He's the Dogtown. Uh, he he controls Dogtown. He owns Dogtown, and he has Barkes, who does the military and law enforcement for him. And he doesn't like corpos, he doesn't like Trump team, that's when like NCPD coming in, right? So he rules Dogtown. No outsiders doesn't like that. Songbird, when we got close to Dogtown, she called me and said, Hey, come to Dogtown, help me with something, I'll help you with your relic. We tried to go through the main uh gate of Dogtown, couldn't do that. So she snuck me in through a dumpster, came in came in one side, came out the other side, and then I had to sneak my way in the underground parking garage and then come out the underground um market of Dogtown. And then I made my way to some <clears throat> open area by the stadium. 
And uh, that's when she said uh, to help her with Rosalind Myers, former Marine Corps, former Militech um, CEO. And she came from what the family. She is current in the United States of America president. She was flying over Dogtown. Her Air Force One got shot down with missiles. Um, and then uh, she crashed. She had to go. Uh, that's what Sumber would help with. Go rescue her before they got to her and killed her. Kurt Hansen said he didn't have anything to do with it. He said that's just a way of people who try to get in Dogtown be nosy. But if you read the shard, it will tell you that uh, he wanted everybody that was survivors or involved with that, the plane and witnesses to be eliminated and to have Rosalind Myers, the president of the United States of America, um, brought to him personally. I don't know why. Sounds really nasty when you think about it. Solomon Reed, uh, he is a, a sleeper agent for the FIA. He was uh, the person that Rosalind Myers said to call, and uh, sh he helped get her back to Washington and safe along with my help. And uh, he's a sleeper agent. He's been kind of out of the picture for like seven years, disappeared. Everybody calls him a traitor, and he's a bad. They think he's a bad guy, but he says that some reason why he had to disappear, some fake story. And it doesn't really help his reputation. So, yeah. Anyways, he's helping me uh, to find Songbird. Songbird's missing because when we were trying to find the president, she was helping us hack and do things. Uh, one of the things, we were locked in his room with a bunch of uh, enemies. Since I'm playing on very hard difficulty, most hardest difficulty in the game, elite enemies. I uh, had to shoot my way out. Oh, my God. I had to do that a million times. And then she's like, hold on. You know, I'll help you. Uh, if you can do kill so many people and then once you do that she turns on this big spider robot is hiding under this um, big sheet or blanket uh, and then uh, she shoots the people you're able to escape but then the AI for the robot takes over and then she goes dark like you don't get any more comms from her it's thought that she like got fried and died kind of like T-Bug did <clears throat> when she checked in uh, when we were doing the heist with me and Jackie but she is alive. Uh, she's being held <clears throat> at Kurt Hansen's headquarters or whatever. So um, so Solomon and me were trying to help find her. Uh, also with the help of Alina Alex Zanakis. She is an undercover FIA agent. Grew up poor and now she's an FIA agent. Uh, she seems to be a really good agent. She was recruited by um, Solomon uh, Reed. And Songbird was also recruited by Solomon uh read uh and she is in dogtown when he disappeared for the seven years she worked at the muff bar she kind of stuck there so when he came back uh to help the president and then ask her for help she's all pissed off cussed him out and stuff and really angry about that he just left her in dogtown working at that bar and didn't say anything um so that's pretty much she's that's pretty much where we're at with her not really much interaction with her really outside of meeting her at the bar but she says she'll help. Um, Wilkie Slider, he is a net runner, um, really smart net runner for the Voodoo Boys. He used to be my mom, Brigitte, who is the um, head of the Voodoo Boys, right hand man. And um, I guess they didn't see eye to eye when it came to business, stuff like that. He became an informant for the FIA, and something happened with the FIA, and they took his sight, so he's blind. Um, and then he ended up, uh, I think before he was blind, he ended up going to. Um, Dogtown, where he's at, where well, I would say where he's at now, but he ended up dying because what he did was um, he jacked into V's uh, relic and then was able to find out Sunburst location and stuff like that. Um, but he ended up uh, frying, getting fried, and died. Uh, but we were able to find out the Sunburst being kept by um, Kurt Hansen. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Any of this? No. Okay. So that leads us to this. So in order to get Tombert, we got to do three gigs for Mr. Hands. We already did the Gig Town, Dog Town Saints, um, which is to rescue the uh, guy, Anthony Anderson, from Haven Clinic. Uh, he used to be held hostage. Him and the priest run Haven Clinic. We used to be a Catholic church. Um, so the uh, since the area was run down and it wasn't going to be this luxurious place that they thought it would be, they turned it into a clinic. And then they had uh, patients inside that they were caring for. And then the scavengers came, took over the building, kicked out the priest and the patients. And then the um, 
the surgeon was downstairs barricading himself. And then when you finally shoot your way in and find him there, he's being held at gunpoint by some lady who says she's looking for her brother. You have to kill her, and then uh, he doesn't really say what's going on uh, and what's her deal. But if you go into his little side room, it's like a little morgue, a little air conditioning room. You find his brother or her brother laying on some table, dead. Um, and then what he's doing is uh, pulling people's cyberware implants out and selling them or, you know, giving them to other patients and stuff. Um, it's a bunch of stuff you could read, but like when uh, the priest was asking for donations for the, the clinic, you find out that uh, people don't want to give him donations or them donations to help because of this guy, um, something to do with his old employer. So I guess that had something to do with it too. Maybe he was stealing cyber implants out of the, the dead patients or something. Um, okay, so that's one of the gifts that we did, Dogtown Saints. And then you have to do uh, two more, but I'm going to do all of them. And we're working on uh, treating symptoms right now. So get it together completely. At least three gifts for Mr. Hands, one out of three done. Now you're missing Uber Network. I guess nearby Dogtown say Honcho would love plot to us. Don't know how you want to get into a Black Sapphire, even if it's possible. That's where uh, Songbird's being held. And uh, Kurt Hansen's... Um, I guess headquarters, or even if, if it's possible, but that's not the thing I worry about. What does worry me is what you're going to do once you get inside thoughts. So, you have uh, it's a total of four missions that you can do. Uh, that Dog, Dogtown Saints, uh, another one is gig prototype in the scraper, waiting, oh, waiting for Dodger. What the hell? Waiting for Dodger and uh, this one, Gig Treating Symptoms. So find Maliko Alexis, Gig uh, Objective Eliminate Maliko Alexis, location Voodoo Boys Base, Luxury High Wellness Spa. Details in Dara Brazara would be the first and last fall prey to the Voodoo Boys blackmail. Since you're seeing the game, since I have the only technical employees of her corp in their sights. They made our client an offer she can refuse, cooperate, or die. So they're blackmailing this lady. And Dara chose third route. She called me. So she wanted to take out this guy who's group and him or blackmailing her um the voodoo boy threatening to hack her lungs is the one milko alexis wow can hack people lungs. see to it that he kind of leaves her to f alone these are all conversations that you find uh along the way voodoo boys and dog town they're different from the ones in pacifica a lot, a lot more out there <clears throat> compared to the pacifica voodoo boys who kind of keep a low cover and just do their net running things so they're involved in all kinds of things very dangerous Luxor High Wellness Spa, this used to be a, well, it was supposed to be a glitzy spa for people to rejuvenate them and, and uh, make their lives longer, but they were saying they have all these implants anyway, so it really doesn't make sense. But it's just a place for rich people, people who could afford it to go and relax at the spa. Milko Alexis, uh, he's uh, kind of like uh, that lady, the FIA undercover agent, grew up poor. Uh, not made a lot of chances, and uh, he's very smart. Uh, and so the Voodoo Boys tuck him under their wings, and he's a net runner with them. And so, yeah, so because he's part of the gang, you know, he has to give certain things back. Um, so, yeah, so that's what they're saying. And they're saying, uh, moving story, not really gangs are in charity and protection. Come the price of Milko's case, that price is chronic insomnia caused by remorse. So, we got to go kill him. And that's what we're doing right now. And uh, what else? Skill progression. This is what I'll get for the next one. I just hit 50 recently. And uh, this is what I'll get for the next ones. And then my 40% um, duration for overclock. That's it. Just finding this guy. Gotta kill him. What they say sad but true. You know, it's like Metallica song. Cheer story, seriously. Oh, I already read that. I don't know where this guy is at. I'm just going around getting my items. How did that door open? This is the main area. How did these doors work? It's always a lot of stuff to get, so definitely be nosy. Be as nosy as possible. 
Always look, always look, always look, always look because you'll miss something. Some bullets there. And then be careful with falling too because uh, I have the second heart which if my health reaches zero it'll revive me but when it comes to fall damage it doesn't work. And other things. It's unfortunate, but that's how it is. Alright, there's another short archive conversation between Matthew, Aloy, and Sylvie. Uh, M, you know they sent us six new Eventide runners. S, Ann. Uh, M, well, so far, Milko always works solo. S, Ann. M, and that don't make you curious? S, no. It don't make you curious neither if you smart ask too many questions they send you to the bunker for salvage duty next and psh, let them i don't believe in ghosts it's the ghosts don't care okay she wanted them don't be too nosy how did i miss that And trying to get my um, thing up too. My head hunter up by doing this. Where am I supposed to go? Is it here? This must be it. technical ability. Just thought that was nice attention to detail with that uh, air conditioner there. Okay. Bingo, bingo. This is where the guy is at. I guess the people who aren't interested in items, they can just go straight there. But I like to be nosy. Alright, so what is it that I got that was new? Besides that gun. Oh, okay, scope. Marcus. Talk to the supplier optional. Why are you here? Wow. Now what do we have here? I'm just here on biz. You have biz with the voodoo boys? Yeah. Well, used to. After what you just did, thinking they'll want a new supplier. Voodoos can't just go to a ripper for their chrome? This cyberware isn't for installing. It's for tinkering. It's some kind of experiments. Research on implants? What was that all about? Don't know, don't care. I got enough problems. Milko Alexis, a voodoo boy. Know the name? Yeah. About all I know, though. Guy practically lives in the net. 
Seems like he's got everyone walking on eggshells. Big deal, I guess. Where can I find him? Don't ask me. Got enough problems as it is. I could punch him. <laughs> I pay well for in info. Ungrateful second. Let's punch him. Talk! Or your skull really will be in pieces. Don't scare me. Oh, dude. Fucking psycho! Oh, fuck the nose! Oh, it hurts like a motherfucker! Ready to talk? Fine! Fine! Whatever! Just stop! Right, so these implants. The voodoos break most of them down. Looking for code exploits, new hacks, and so on. Whatever they don't use, they install in old robots. Piles of scrap, most of them, but one came together real nice. Robots? What for? What for? Think for a sec. If this Milko guy's so important, probably needs round the clock protection. Mm. Running out of time to spare. Know any way of getting around those bots. Nothing gets past their motion sensors. Slipping by unnoticed is a non-starter for sure. How's your aim? I manage. Hmm. The voodoos, they keep their bots in some kind of server room. I can overload the disk arrays, then you... You fuck up the servers till they go boom. Should result in a pulse big enough to melt the circs of the rank and file. Okay, feel free to Delta. I got work to do. Mmm, must be nice. So I guess you can't kill him because it doesn't look like you can. I'll find them. Okay, I remember this area. Good night. Shit, I'm stuck. Robot MK2. Let me see. What the hell, dude? They just <laughs> popped me in here. I wasn't even ready. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. What was I thinking by coming in here? <laughs> I am so dead. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh my god, robot RMK2, they're everywhere. Activating defense systems, 40%. Shoot! Shit. Uh. 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 
shoot! The freaking crap, dude! My God, I'm dead. Ah. Oh, shoot, what the hell? The freaking freak. Shoot! God damn it. Oh my god, man. You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh, wow. This dude talking about he on overload the servers, he ain't doing anything. I kind of figured, like, if I went in there, that it was, the door was going to close. It's crazy. You say you know how to aim? <laughs> That's probably why. Oh, my God. I tried to take out the servers and stuff, but... Man, this sucks. Can't shoot him. Can't hack him. It's got to be some trick to this.
God, move! Oh my god, what the hell? More on my way, dude! Oh my god. I can't even- oh my god. I can't even, damn. Oh shoot. So stupid. This is so dumb. Oh my god, dude. This is so stupid. Why they make you fight so many damn robots? It's impossible to do this on very hard difficulty. And there's no real trick to it because I thought, oh, I'll just shoot the damn servers out. That's what he said. And when I do that, that doesn't do anything. This is so dumb. Absolutely stupid. I need to change guns. This is so dumb. You can't even. There's a server right there, and I can't even shoot it. Hey, there's that one. It's like once you step in the middle, then you're kind of screwed. This is so dumb. And the funny thing is, I can't even use my... Wow. There is nowhere to run from this guy. There is nowhere to run from these people. I'm trying to see if there's some kind of trick or something. It's so stupid. 
pit. I don't get it. I don't get it. Unless you gotta shoot the servers as you're playing. Like, this is so dumb. This is, man. Like, Cyberware, I mean, not Cyberware. Cyberpunk, like, some of these boss missions are so dumb. Like, why? Like, it just don't make no damn sense. Activating defense systems, 40%. difference does that make? Still gotta fight your way out. What am I doing, man? What am I doing? I have the wrong kind of grenades anyway. Oh my god. Shoot, don't get caught there. I think I only have one more left. Oh my god, now it's more robots. Oh shoot! 
Go, go, go. How many robots are there? Ah! Somebody behind me. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god! Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo! I think that was like the third time, right? Third time's the charm. Oh my god. Dang! People be like, oh, very high difficulty! Man, I tell you, this game is annoying. Why would it make it almost impossible to do? That's the thing. I almost was about to give up with this. I was like, man, I am not gonna do this. I have to get this stuff so I can get on, find this guy. I didn't want to sit here and say it's a human here. What the hell? Of course it's been a human here. Archive conversation. Merlin, Cherry, and Junior Mose. Uh, M, Alan wants security for mill codes. J, but that's Alan's job. M, in that space, yes, not real space. Junior, in real space, necessary. M, when do you name your butt chief security consultant? J, only asking. M, no asking, only listening. We need to fire up those spots. Jay, we're not selling them. M, we will when Milko finishes way intensive. Finish. But he cannot finish it if he gets shot in the face, understand? Well, he already, he's about to get shot in the face, all right. Can robots do? That was crazy. I'm telling you, I was about to just give up because I was like, man, this is ridiculous. I can't kill these people. Felt like it was that spider robot fight again. This uh shotgun does really good. Where's the big robot at that I killed? I guess that's it, right? I don't know. These boss fights in these games are hard. It's a legendary too. Hold on, I just make sure I got everything. Come on with this drifting controller. Where's the legendary at? This is the robot here. Okay. It's 
a shard. And there's something blue. Okay, I can't understand, like, okay, so this door opened back up, right? No. Okay, so the only door is that one. So you can't go back out the other way. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Oh, this fuss was about, oh my god, so much frustration. Ooh! a smart pistol you know i love smart pistols oh my goodness ogo ooh tier 5 plus iconic look at that 51.04 attack uh damage um attack speed 3.33 and all that stuff plus 50 percent head that shot damage multiplier plus 25 percent arm penetration 1.2 second lock on time plus 50 percent crit chance five is a burst of two explosive rounds oh my god yes Hits have a higher chance of dismemberment. Each dismemberment increases crit chance and, ch and, a, and a chance to apply bleeding. Oh my goodness. Get out of here, uh, Cheetah. All right. That's beautiful. You know I love smart pistols. I love my little A22B. A-22B. That's my favorite gun. So I am so happy to get that. You just don't even know. Alright, a lot of uh, low-level stuff. Let's get rid of that. Liberty, double barrel shotgun. Alright, and did we get any new melee weapons? Got one in the club. And no new clothes. Backpack. We got a whole bunch of scopes. Okay, everything looks fine as far as my stats go. Wow, this is going to be nice. Let's see how it looks. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna tear him up with this. Alright, I think I got everything. Let me make sure one more time. Yep, alright, let's get him. Here, Milko, Milko, come on out. All your little robots can't keep me away from you. Oh, shoot. Oh, hey, shoot. hey, careful with that. I'm linked to the runner, see? Don't want him to catch a ricochet, huh? Talk to the net runner is optional. Okay, what's going on, man? Milko's a corpse already, but you've still got a choice. Whoever you are, I advise you step back. You'd only waste your bullets on you. Trust me. I am Agent Alan Noel, Netwatch. Organized crime specialist. I'm sure we can work something out. Undercover Netwatch agent. My name's Lizzie Lizzie, doubtful. Maybe. Do you know Bryce Mosley? It's your decision. First I've seen a Netwatch agent ditch the tie and button up to get his hands dirty. Live with the enemy. We tried recruitment more than once. None ever agreed, no matter our terms. We underestimated their loyalty to each other. Well, Alan, no watch agent or not, if you stand in my way, I'll be forced to remove you from it. Damn, look at those feet. At least let me unplug from Milko. Fine, but so much is a twitch, and you're a flatline. That's better. Now, listen to me. You can't kill Milko. Not yet. Who's going to stop me? You? Do not do this. Did I shoot both of them? I guess I had no choice but to uh, do that. All right. I don't know what this is. Breach the network. Okay. Alright, I breached it. What's going on? Guess I had to kill him anyway. Air jar, really? And 
Martin Romero to Allen. I need to scrum your gun and brain. F with a bark heist. Drop your F and deal. Their crap is off limited. They come knock my whole operation. Goes to spell 8 a.m. They won't be in and out like ghosts have my own bark heist comms. Their finger pointing at skills, not us. Martin Allen, call it luck, them. Keep that crap. Cut that crap out, yeah. This is why we have our own supply. Keep your hands clean. A to M. First of all, supplier feeds bark eyes too. So from him or from our job, it's no matter. They get a crap all at the same time, um, or get their crap all at the same second. Our supplier is gonna start delivers too little, too rarely, and the longer this operation drags on, the greater risk someone eventually nail us. I got a file. Can they scout, uh cooperation? Prior to PO, personal details. Anna Marie Gold. Automation and ro robotics engineer, cyber second heart, seven out of ten difficulty prior to P2. First, the details able martial sensory systems designer, cyber something difficulty five out of ten. Okay, they have any special websites? No, I guess I didn't have a choice. I gotta leave. I guess you can go back out again. That's this granite. Can I go this way? Looks like you can go this way too. Oh, remember that little pipe I was looking at? I guess you can go out of here. Nice. Done. Let's see what we got. Inventory. Makes you wonder if you could get uh, get away without killing him, but I guess not. Melee weapons. Map pack. Okay, connector. Okay. Good. what needs doing. Our client can rest easy now. Job done. Transfer sent. Contract closed. Alright, that's it. Alright, so that is done. So we got uh, two out of three done. We got Dogtown Saints and uh, Trading Symptoms and we'll probably do, I don't know which one next, but we got uh, one more to do and then he'll help us get into Kurt Hansen's building and we will do that next time.